In this video, I'll walk you through the best method I've found to create a Windows bootable USB on your Mac, right from home. This process gave me quite a bit of trouble at first, so I'm sharing the exact steps that finally worked for me, to help you avoid the same issues. You can use this method for either Windows 10 or Windows 11. Just keep in mind the storage requirements. For Windows 10, you'll need a USB drive with at least 5 GB of free space. For Windows 11, make sure your USB drive has at least 8 GB. Step 1. Download the Windows ISO file. Open your browser and go to the following page, link website in the description. Click on the link to the Microsoft Downloads page. In this video, I'll be using Windows 11. Choose Windows 11 from the Edition drop-down and click Confirm. Select your preferred language and confirm again. Then click the Download button to start the ISO file download. Step 2. Prepare your USB drive. Once the ISO is downloading, go ahead and plug in your USB stick. I'm using a 64GB drive. Next, we need to format the USB properly using Disk Utility. Open Disk Utility. You can search for it using Spotlight. In Disk Utility, locate your USB drive in the sidebar, select it, and then click Erase. In the Erase settings, name the drive something easy to recognize, like Win11. Set the format to MS-DOS, FAT. This is the FAT32 format. Set the scheme to Master Boot Record, MBR. Click Erase to format the drive. This will permanently erase all data on the USB stick. Once the process is complete, click Done. Step 3. Mount the ISO file. Now that your USB is ready, it's time to access the ISO file. Locate the Windows ISO file you downloaded earlier. Double-click on it to mount the ISO as a virtual drive. It will appear on your desktop or in the Finder sidebar. Open a new Finder window and navigate to the mounted Windows ISO. You will see its contents displayed. Open another Finder window and navigate to your formatted USB drive. Copy all files from the mounted ISO to your USB drive. However, do not copy the Sources folder at this stage. Once all files except those in the Sources folder are copied, open the Sources folder in the mounted ISO. In the Sources folder, select all files except for the file named Install, WIM or Install, ESD, and then copy them to the Sources folder on your USB drive. If the Sources folder does not exist on your USB drive, create it by excluding the Install, WIM or Install, ESD file in this step. You prepare for the next stage which involves handling this large file separately due to its size. Completing this process ensures that your USB drive contains all necessary Windows installation files, making it bootable.
WIM file is typically too large to copy directly to a FAT32 formatted USB drive due to file size limitations of the format. To work around this, you'll use a tool called WIMLib to split the file into smaller parts that can be transferred to the USB. Here's how to handle the install.wim file. First, check if you have Homebrew installed on your Mac by opening terminal and typing brew v. If Homebrew is not installed, install it. With Homebrew installed, install WIMLib by typing brew install WIMLib in terminal. Once WIMLib is installed, we're ready to split the file. Locate the install.wim file in the mounted ISO's sources folder. Drag and drop the install.wim file into terminal. This will automatically insert the correct file path. Next, drag the sources folder from your USB drive into terminal as the destination path. At the end of the destination path, type slash install.swm. This will be the base name for the split files. The 4000 at the end represents the split size in megabytes. 4000 meter bytes, or 44 gigabyte per file. Press enter to begin the split process. This may take a few minutes. Once it's done, Terminal will confirm with a finished splitting message. To confirm it worked, open the sources folder on your USB drive. You should now see files like install.sdum, install2.sdum, etc. These are the split parts of your original install.wim file, and they're now small enough to be read from a FAT32 drive. This completes the process of creating a bootable USB for Windows on a Mac. With this USB, you can install Windows 10 or Windows 11 on a Mac or any compatible PC. The bootable USB allows for a smooth installation process, providing a straightforward way to run Windows on Mac hardware.